All right, now if you've been around as long as I have, and that's a long time, then you'll likely remember the debut of the show, the show Soul Train back in the early 70s. And even if you haven't been around that long, you probably watched it. It was on for so long. The dance show, modeled after American Bandstand, was an instant hit, and it continued on the air for 35, 35 years. The story of how the show came to be is an interesting one, and it's now being told in a new series on BET. Take a look. Just in time for the first trip on the soul train. If the sound of soul is your pleasure, then what's your treasure? Mr. Cornelius, these kids are nailing all the latest steps. Or maybe you don't understand. I need stars creating the next dance craze. You ain't American bandstand. Come back when you learn the game. The dancers there are stars around town. I'm talking about a national television show written, produced, and owned by black folks. Wow. Today we are talking to two of the stars of this new series. Cinqua Walls plays Soul Train founder Don Cornelius and Kelly Price plays Brianne Clark, a mom whose children are rising stars on the LA music scene. Welcome to you both this afternoon. Thanks for being here. Thank you Good for having afternoon. us. Thank oh, you for having me. I'm just going to tell you that there's a, on Tuesday, February 5th at 9 p.m., my butt is going to be in one place, and that's going to be in front of a television set watching this show because I am so intrigued. Yes, yeah. Scott. Yeah, I'm not yeah. kidding. Yes, yeah. Scott. Have a watch party. I, I might have, have, have a, a watch, watch party. party. I'm telling you, you, you will not be disappointed. We're giving you episode one and two back to back, and Ooh. it is you are absolutely. We going can to binge be right after. At the end of those two hours, yes. So absolutely, I, I, I'm like so, no what she said. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like nine, I'm like nine, ten years old, and I'm watching American Bandstand, and then all of a sudden, right after, it was on Channel 11, WPIX in New York, Soul Train came on, yeah. and I was like, oh yeah. my God, what is this show? That train came around the track, and I was hooked. Yeah. I yeah. just yeah. said that, right? Train. The train was actually dancing. I don't think people really paid attention. Yes, the train yes. was getting its jig on. What was the dance? What was the dance? Listen, dance? okay, so it was up on its back wheels, yeah. and it was giving you this. Hey, hey, yeah. hey. I was like, oh! Hey. I don't think many people caught it, but I would watch the train, and I would be like, I want to dance like the train. Absolutely. Yes. If I could just be like the train. If I could just be like the train. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, yes. it was... And it was, we get a chance to tell an amazing story yeah. about an amazing man yeah. who in... Uh, with, you know, with the backdrop of the height of the civil rights movement and the Vietnam War and the draft going on and just, you know, so much turmoil going on in our country, right. decided that he wanted to take something that was locally successful and make it a national thing. And so he picked up his life and went to Los Angeles. But the biggest difference is that he decided that he wanted to own it. And that was something that he fought for. And um, it was it was difficult during those times. So Absolutely. his his tenacity, his will, um, his drive, his yeah. intentional everything. Yeah. It was incredible to unwrap inside of these scripts. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And and Senkwa, you are I playing can, Don Cornelius. What she said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, he doesn't play him. He becomes him. Mm -hmm. I do correct everybody when they say that because this he he, he oh my God he just he evolved from Senkwa. He he was Don Cornelius. He really got lost in it, and yeah. he'll tell you there were days when we had to bring him back. Like, hey, are you in there? <laughs> <laughs> That's a remarkable. That's really cool. <laughs> It's, every time she says it, like you know, it's a compliment. But at the end of the day, you're like, I'm crazy. No, he's not crazy. <laughs> he's like, I love he's, that. No, he's thorough and he's gifted. Yeah. And I, I think that if actors act, then we're not doing our job. Mm -hmm. We have to Definitely. figure out the parts of ourselves where we can relate and become. And he became Don Cornelius, and I, I just respect him so much. Like he was my, he was my sensei. And tell us set. about because Tony wow. Cornelius, Don's son is uh, mm -hmm. helping produce the show. So how, how is that going? And is it also a tribute to Don? I think, you know, we can't say it enough, but, but much, much respect, admiration, and, and appreciation for Tony Cornelius and the entire Cornelius family. Tony was someone who was so emphatic in making sure that this story was authentic and open and true about his father and what he did, more so behind the scenes. And to get someone as close to <clears throat> his dad as he was yes. to give us that information, that doesn't happen often. He really opened up the treasure chest to us and really allowed us to tell this story for the good and the bad. Yes. And I can't thank him enough for that because without him I don't think this story or this show would be as great as it hopefully will become. No, well, they really we, trusted us. Yeah. We they have trusted to let us with family we, secrets and everything. We yeah, have to let you go, go but can we all do it together? On yes. the Soul yes. Soul Train! Soul Train! <laughs>
Not bad, not bad. <laughs> Take care, well, guys. Thank you. Good guys. Luck. <laughs> thank you. Americans, Ameri oh, go ahead. Americans All premieres one week from today, Tuesday, February 5th at 9 p.m. I am on so excited. BET. All right, Looks coming really up good. tomorrow.